when women buy clean clothes, it becomes a canvas. These were canvases. I like to take my visual cues from the invitations to fashion shows. This season's Marnie invitation is this, pure white. Normally it's a big swatch of color, but this suggests a shift in sensibility. She did an incredible job of really sort of simplifying shapes and having an incredible sort of minimalism at the same time, having a little bit of that maximalism that's normally at Marnie that you find, and I love that duality. I think with all that fabric, sometimes that you could feel like the model or, or the woman who's wearing is completely lost in a sea of fabric, but she really made it elegant and the volumes were really, they didn't look stiff, they were fluid, they had almost a couture quality to them. You know, it's not quirky and odd, it's defined and refined and there's a kind of architecture to it, which I love. I really was into the shoe, especially the flat sort of double platform wedge that had lucite or gold with the wood. It's just sort of that mix of materials that, that she's really good at. Very little print. But she still had that whole section of kind of wicker prints and florals that I thought was very good for the Marnie girl. I noticed that when she sent out a print, I craved it. And she didn't have any of her jewelry either. Sort of one bracelet here and there, but really focusing on the cut of the clothes. Okay. I mean, I think Marnie is always an evolution and always does sort of gradually change. This change seems to be a little bit more dramatic, but it's still very much quintessentially Consuelo and Marnie. It's still the Marnie woman. 